in the world of fragrance, making you smell delicious and offending you at the same time may be considered especially heinous. In New York City, a gorgeous Cubano and his elite squad of ball sprayers will seek out these colognes and investigate them. This is his story. Bitch. Can somebody explain something to me? Because I'm getting really nervous. Is Tom Ford going through a 57 to 60 transitional age period that he's only like really melancholic about the good old days when men were fucking men wearing suits for no apparent reason just to go to the corner store? I feel like the last two releases that he's had have been just so retro. Kind of like when 42nd Street, you can get a crack vial anywhere. Heroin needles were just splattered all over the place. Or when you can pay 25 cents to see some saggy ass titties, when you're done, she rolls them back up and tucks them in her bra. Tom Ford, is this what I have to look forward to when I turn 57 years old? Let's roll my motherfucking music and get to this video before I start aging quickly and Lord knows what will happen. Who's got a drink? Blessed morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. Attention, please. Attention, please. Please be aware that this fragrance is not for the 25 and under. I apologize in advance. Go watch some of my other shit while your balls drop. This fragrance, I literally feel like Tom Ford was trying to either trying to step into the motherfucking DeLorean and go back to 1985, or he had an initial plan to develop an entire Tom Ford private blend line of period pieces, the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, and the 90s. I don't know why you didn't do that, Tom Ford, and if that is your evil fucking plan, you owe me a vig. If you don't know what a vig is, Google it. Now on my left hand, I have the glorious 2018 release of Tom Ford's Fougere Platine. And on my right hand, I have the much more inexpensive, great motherfucking clone by the House of Dua Fragrances, and that's fucking legendary. And clearly, people over at Dua share my same sentiments, because why would you name Fougere Platine legendary? Because Tom Ford was feeling some type of way. Back to the times when you can go to the barber shop and get a straight razor shave with that single blade that you better hope he sanitized. If not, you're gonna get some wicked hepatitis or some crazy gnarly shit on your face. Maybe I should use that for the blade when I shave my bolt. Never mind. So on this hand, we have Legendary Sprayed, which is under $65. He's always throwing dual coupons, so trust me, you won't get a lot cheaper than that. And then we got a sample of the retail price of $235. No, the sample does not cost $235. The fucking bottle does for a 50 ml. So let's just drop this motherfucker right now because that shit just gives me hives. Now, they were sprayed on each hand a little while ago, so let's get some opening impressions, shall we? How close do they smell? Legendary? Okay. Platine. Okay. On opening to my schnoz, they're about 89% close. To me, Legendary opens a little woodier, a little greener, yet Platine is green as fuck and woody, but smoother. Just being completely transparent, the Tom Ford one is definitely a lot smoother on the opening. Now, while I rant and talk shit on this video and these motherfuckers dry down, we'll see if that shit still balances the same way or this motherfuckers become linear, what happens, right? I think Tom Ford should have really knocked it out of the park and did a whole fucking period piece. I think it would have made more sense. I know fashion does a whole 360 and always comes back. Those dad sneakers is coming back that look like big ass boats. A lot of retro shit is coming back. The big beards, clearly. The big handlebar mustaches with the little twisty joints. A lot of motherfuckers is bringing back oh shit so maybe just maybe Tom Ford has something up his sleeve being the creative genius that he is and they coming out in the next two years with some crazy shit that we ain't prepared for or it's the fucking end of the world and this is a conspiracy theory that Jesse Ventura should investigate I don't know what we get from both of these fragrances I'll tell you right off the back is a very woody green herbaceous fragrance that is mature solid masculine 
It definitely reminds me of something that my dad would have worn or my grandfather would have worn. Like, I'm a connected guy, I'm a May guy, or I'm a fucking blue collar man who works his ass off Monday through Friday, but best know that once I punch out at five o'clock, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I am turning up and ready to fuck. That's pretty much what I'm getting from this fragrance. Very green, very herbal. Slight dash of black licorice vibe, which I don't love. And simple to the point, it is a very woody, green, herbaceous, slightly spicy, old school joint. My legendary has changed a little bit. That sharpness has calmed down a little bit. And I'm finding a little bit of a soapy vibe to it. So it's green, herbaceous, and soapy. Platine has that tone also, but not as pronounced as the Duo one. So these are where the differences definitely are. I did two sprays of the Duo and I did four of the Platine because it isn't a sample. So I wanted to make sure I had a decent equal amount of sprays. This shit ain't really performing very well on my skin right now. We're just in mid, we're not even in full dry down. And the Duo is just, just hanging on there like fucking Donkey Kong, ready to throw some barrels. Is Legendary a ball sprayer? I give it a half a spray. It's not a full ball sprayer, it's a half a spray. There you go. That's a half a spray. And that fucking half a spray on this damn sprayer was a full fucking spray. But it was half, I swear, it was meant to be half. <sighs> Back to life. Back to reality, back to the field. I don't know why I sang back to life. It has nothing to do with back in the day, but it's kind of back in the day. I'm going through some shit. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart and these half spray retro nuts. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is. It's your motherfucking boy, bitch. Smooches. For the fly gun holder, money folder, holder roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough rugger than raw way, this nigga gay, it's a game, but he don't play. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would.